guys. It has been a hot minute since I've done a Facebook Live. And I'm hoping, I honestly don't remember if I've done one in the new house or not. So we're just gonna go with it. I feel like there's a big shadow right here. Okay, let's see. It took me a second to get the cats out of the room. I don't let them jump in. Okay. So, first, I'd like to say um, it's free shipping day in Stampin' Up. So, what does that mean? It means um, you're right off the bat, you're saving $6.95. So, um, the more you order, the more you save because shipping goes up with the more you order because the heavier the, the box is, right? So, what a great day to stock up on some supplies if you need cardstock and stamps. There's the last chance. Um, uh, products that are in the occasion catalog, the mini occasion catalog. Some of that stuff is up to 50% off and um, just some great uh, deals. The You Are Amazing um, card kit, it's like 15 bucks. Like it's just amazing. So did I say amazing enough? you are amazing all right guys so today we're gonna do a fun fold card um, I got this I saw somebody else doing it so I was like okay let's try it and I'm gonna see if anybody oh there I am okay so fun fold we're going to make this pinwheel card using the Plentiful Plant Stamp set and the Perfect Plants dies. So all these little goodies in here. You can get this as a bundle. You save 10% when you get it as a bundle. And there's lots of measurements, and so I have them written down here. You can look at them. Um, this is how we're gonna start. And then these are the pieces that you're gonna need over here. I will also um, type them up so they're a little clearer to understand. But this way I know, hopefully I say the measurements correctly. But this will fold and go into um, a regular envelope. So we're gonna start with a piece of cardstock. And, oops, in my way. I had so much fun yesterday in my, um, in my craft room. I was pretty much sat here at the desk all day except for lunch. And I got to play with some new product, and I've got a card I'm going to show you tomorrow for Red Friday. Um, but super fun. It's been a hot, like I said, a hot minute. We've been traveling, went back and forth. So, um, but you know, my craft studio is my happy place. So, we're going to take a piece of cardstock. It's four and a quarter by five and three fourths. We're going to score it at. Oops, I did that upside down. Huh? Three, uh, three and a quarter. Oops, no, I didn't. Oh, because I folded it that way. Okay, so three and a quarter. We're gonna score, and what you're doing is building this little guy right here. So we score, and then we score again at one and a half. We're gonna do it up here. One and a half. I know my measurements. There's two and a quarter. And then I think it's three. Three. Okay. You're also going to need um, pieces of paper. So you're going to need three. Just want to make sure you guys can see this three pieces that are um, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And so that's what these are. 
And then you're gonna need three two inches by four um, and a quarter. And so I've already cut them and I've put them in the little sections that I wanna adhere them to. Um, and you could also use a three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I'm gonna show you that. And then I did white strips. So right here, these are one and three fourths by four and two and a half by four. So there's lots of different ideas on the internet. You can look them up. It's called a pinwheel card. And you can see everybody's uh, variation. Everybody does it a little bit different. So to start off, we're going to fold this guy and you're gonna to wanna to use your bone folder because you want a really good crease on all your score lines. And I did write on this because the inside's gonna get covered up. Obviously, you guys aren't gonna write on it. But I wanted the measurements um, easy for you guys to see. And then we're gonna make a square. So you're going to take your Tombow which I don't use the Tombow group glue very often. I'm definitely a um, seal, stamp and seal kind of girl, but Tombow gives you, oops, I wanna make sure you don't get it just where you need it. Um, Tombow gives you some give. So pretty much seal, once it's two pieces of paper are touching, that's it, but Tombow, you're able to slide around a little bit, and so there's a little bit of forgiveness there. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna make sure it's nice, strong, okay? And then we're gonna adhere this guy to this corner, and you're gonna wanna do the Tombow on uh, your base because you know how much room to give yourself. So we're gonna do this three times, right? And then you're gonna fold like this. Get a nice strong hold. I don't know why I keep putting the lid back on. I would love to see if you get, oops, if you guys um, try making one of these. Like I said, yesterday I was in here. I'm kind of, um, like I said, I have the new product and I've been playing with it, but this plant paper uh, bloom where you're planted just calls to me. I don't know if it's because I do not have a green thumb or what, but so this is going to be our last guy. Oops. Well, we're going to put that on there. Like so So there is the start of your pinwheel. Pretty cool, right? And you don't wanna to go too heavy on the glue. That's one thing. I don't know if it's like back in kindergarten, you know, your paste, you don't wanna to get too heavy with your paste. But we're going to, let me see. I did mine like this. So the smaller side is on the left and the larger side is on the right. And I took it and this is going to cover up all of your cinnamon cider so there's no outline on this guy on these um, with the designer series paper. And then today, I'm not gonna show you um, all the little de well, I'm not gonna do all the little details. I'll show you on the finished card. So I'm gonna like this. 
So hopefully everybody has been having an amazing summer. We had a great vacation. We got to see family and friends and um, got to enjoy uh, home, which was nice. And being back here in Texas reminds me, it must be like childbirth, you forget about the humidity. Every summer you kind of forget, oh my gosh, the humidity. This morning at like five o'clock in the morning, it was like 99% humidity. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe in another lifetime I should have been like a meteorologist or something because. There we go. Okay. And then we got one more to do. These bricks. I love these bricks. Also, um, Yesterday, I got to see a, a sneak peek or like a full, a full peek, I guess. I got to see the whole new catalog that is coming, the, um, the holiday catalog. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. So that brings me to, I'm thinking about doing like a Christmas in July, but pr probably be more like Christmas in August. Because if you watched yesterday's video, um, uh, babysitting a two-month-old in July is pretty full. Summer camp here take, is a lot. It's um, so summer camp here. I think this year there's close to 400 boys coming to hang out at MMA. Um, anyway, so I, what I'm trying to say is my July, very busy. And then this, these two guys right here, you know me, I love a good edge on a card, but I am gonna stamp them. So I've used um, cinnamon cider and garden green, and then I brought in, ooh, let's throw the stamp pad, evening uh, evergreen, which is one of the new in colors. And we're going to take Stamps. I also love, let me show you guys, um, the new photopolymer stamps. When you get them, they come with um, the design on the back side of the cover. So you can just take them off in this way. Oops, cat hair. Um, and that way you always know what's in there, what's missing. It's, um, it's a great new feature. I love that. Okay, so let's take um I'm looking for the one to use. So we're gonna do you touch my heart and we're gonna use the evening evergreen for that and that's gonna go up on top. So we're going to stamp that guy right there. And let me know what you guys think of this card. We're gonna take, if you guys are into fun folds, if you wanna see more fun folds, or you just wanna see, um, I'm gonna say basic cards, but are they really basic? No. Um, but just the traditional style cards. And I can leave my stamp pads open because there's no cats in here. I had to shoo them all away. Okay, so we're going to take the pot and we're just gonna stamp that on the bottom, like so. And we're gonna take this big giant leaf guy. Like I said, I do not have a green thumb. I don't know what this plant is called. 
I just know that I can't kill it when I stamp it on paper. Okay, and then the other side, we're going to do a little note with the biggest thanks. And I'm not sure if I showed you guys this trick or not, and maybe not on this guy, but um, when you have a long, clear stamp, I'm trying to look for a long, clear stamp, like, um, like this guy, to a dear friend, and it's, and if you put it on the, the block, if you put it on like this, you could um, put it on a little crooked, which sometimes you may want to do that, but sometimes you don't. So what you do is you put it down on your table first and you make sure it's the right way. And then you put the block over it and that way it stays on there straight. And we're actually gonna need this. I think we'll do cinnamon cider today. So and just piece of scrap here like so, and we're just gonna stamp that guy on there. And where's my cleaner? Hmm, good question. Where is my simple chamois? The problem with not being in here for a while, you forget where everything is. You think, oh, this is the smart place for it. So there's my simple chamois, and that just cleans it right off. But we're gonna go back to this guy and we're gonna do this plant. Where is, I know, it's like silent, silence, why? Because I tend to lose things. So we're gonna do this. that and then we're gonna take this guy and go underneath and just create a design like so now this evening evergreen I wasn't too sure I, really green is not the color that I'm drawn to you guys know I love good blue and um but this evening evergreen it's very pretty and I feel like it's really on trend right now You've probably seeing it all over the place in like Pinterest and whatnot so we're gonna go back to our um, pinwheel card and here I am gonna use the seal because it is um, Press too hard sometimes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's this. And then we're going to take this guy. And put this on the side over here. So the reason I'm going to show you in my finished product project, um, so this right here is the die cut. There's um, a macrame plant hanger and uh, some succulent die cuts in there. So right here I did to a dear friend because I got a, some ink smudge on the bottom there. So I have a perfect place to cover that guy up. And then, I th like so. So there are all your different sides. This guy over here, I just um, 
I did some stamping and some die cutting for this guy. And then this was just die cutting, taking some scraps and cut, cutting that out. And then this one I just kind of left blank. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna put anything on it or not. Um, I thought having it in the envelope this way would be best. The small strip that I talked about of designer series paper, the three and a quarter by four and a half, if you wanted to put it right here and either make a smaller um, place to write or whichever side you're gonna put in the envelope, um, you know, to kind of open the card. You guys know what I'm saying? All right, I've talked too long. I'm talking to myself. I love talking paper crafting. So uh, just hanging out here in my craft room today. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Don't forget today is free shipping in Stampin' Up World. And let me know if um, July or August would be better for a Christmas in. So Christmas in July, Christmas in August. The thing with August is that um, the holiday catalog will be out. And so I think that would be super fun to get some of the new goodies and um, show you all those awesome products. So like I said, have a great day and I will talk to you all later. Bye.